you have uh, reported uh, what a wonderful Sunday and a powerful Sunday and a moving Sunday and all that last Sunday was. And I have felt heartened by that and would certainly confirm uh, those feelings as well. And I want to say thank you to the many, many of you who were here and to the many, many of you who stepped out in the proverbial waters of faith that we talked about last week, and you stepped out in faith, and you made a commitment to the legacy project. All totaled, we, I believe, have received well more than pledges uh, representing well more than a thousand uh, people here at Faithbridge, adult people here at Faithbridge. Yeah, so that is a marvelous uh, start to uh, say we came roaring out of the starting gate uh, would be, I believe, the most uh, fitting and accurate um, uh, description of how things started last week. But I want to tell you something that I have found particularly inspiring uh, throughout this week because I didn't see it coming. I didn't understand that our youth ministry uh, was also talking upstairs in their gatherings about the Legacy Project. And we're talking about generosity and all that we were talking about down here in both rooms the last uh, couple of Sundays. I didn't realize that until last week when they showed up in the services. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised that they were all here. But I'll tell you what really uh, inspired me. And that is when it was all said and done, in addition to all of the commitments that I just told you about, there were 180 youth that came forward and put their commitments into the bowls in both rooms last Sunday. And the cards are so touching and so inspiring. Stories of uh, their babysitting money and stories of their lawn mowing money and their allowance money and some tabulating out how they're going to get there and, and such intentionality. And I have drawn particular inspiration from that, as I think you are and will, because uh, if you're like I am, you've heard no shortage of naysaying and pessimism uh, in today's talk of how the world is going to pot and the next generation and on and on and this sort of thing. And, but you get this sort of response and you say, wow, there is a group of young people who are growing up here in a different way, in a countercultural way, who are learning the truths of God's word, who are living that out, who are stepping out on mission, serving in the road, and who are living for a totally higher sense of calling than the rest of the world, a lot of which is kind of going to pot, it does seem like sometimes, huh? And I've just been so heartened and so inspired and so grateful for that, that they would do that of their own volition. I'll tell you about one in particular. Um, his name is Jet, and Jet's story I didn't know about until just this week. And Jet's a senior in high school and hadn't really grown up in the program, only came in recently in the recent months uh, when he got signed up to come to a retreat that the high schoolers were having here recently that they call Rush Weekend. And uh, so Jet got signed up and worked out with his uh, boss at his after-school job to get off for that weekend so that he could go to the Rush uh, Weekend retreat. And the big takeaway of the weekend for him was embrace community. And that was a profound new thought for him. And he wanted to live it out, so he went back to his boss and explained that here on Wednesday nights, when hundreds of our youth reconvene and they have uh, their small groups, their curious groups, and worked out with his boss that he might be able to get off on Wednesday nights so that he could now be part of a curious group. Not only that, 
He also is ushering in the Sunday services here, uh, the adult services. Not only that, it was explained to me his family doesn't come to church, that he just did this on his own. Not only that, but then, then last Sunday, he filled out a card, and I'm sharing this with his permission, pledging $20 per month for the Legacy Project. And I'll tell you why this is particularly, I think, inspiring. Because you see, Jet, you do the math, he's going to graduate in about six months, and then he'll go off he won't even be the beneficiary of what's going to be built out here. But you ask him, and why are you making this? He says, because since I've discovered it, it's been transformational. And I want it to be here uh, even more and better for the kids who are going to come after me. Don't you think that's a marvelous story? And I just was so touched and so inspired. Uh, by that and feel so heartened by what's going on in our youth ministry and our road ministry, so grateful for the leadership of it and for the transformed hearts coming out of it. So now let's go back and talk about the adults. I told you we came roaring out of the starting gate and that's uh, the good news from last week and the even better news that I have is I know this about FaithBridge. We are a great finishing closing culture. And I know that because any number of times staff have come running down to me and said, I don't think we're going to have anybody show up for this thing. And I said, when is the thing? And they said, about three or four days from now. I said, oh, it'll be packed. I know how this thing works here at Faith Bridge. They just forget to do that, but they'll get around to it. And sure enough, it's packed. Now, here's what I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask that those of you who weren't here last week, because a number of you are traveling, there's always a number of you traveling, uh, or maybe you just sort of were busy getting ready for the holidays and, and for whatever reason you didn't get to be here to turn in your card, I'm going to ask you to do that uh, today because I want you to be a part of what God is doing. And we need you to be a part of what God's doing if you're part of what God is doing here at Faith Bridge. And so the ushers have some cards. You should have gotten one with your bulletin, but the ushers I see back there eager to come, they'll be glad to hand you one down the aisle if you'll wave at them if you need one of those and you can work on that. If you're watching online, uh, and thank you to many of you who made your commitments online last week. And that's marvelous, and you can certainly do that. Just text the word LEGACY to 797979, and you'll get the thing right there on your phone. Or you can go on your uh, laptop or your desktop to faithbridgelegacy.org, and you can make your commitment there as well. Next week, I fully intend to come and bring a very exciting and certainly victorious announcement once everybody has stepped in to be a part. And we will give thanks on Thanksgiving Sunday together for that, uh, as we also will get to hear from TA next Sunday, which is always a special treat as well.